Okay, so here we are making our house of the iron ring, coming up with a standard design and uh, you know, symbols and storyline and what it is we want to put together for the um, you know what this what the ring stands for and the history and the lore and contingency plans and all the things and who we want to have in the ring and <clears throat> we discuss it as the original founder is out of game and then figure out ways of how we're going to implement it in, in game, game. cuz we can't just add people to the faction without having some kind of social interaction in game so that's a lot of the the storyline of things that's in that book that you can't see and um <clears throat> things that you know we're playing out different scenarios of how things could go and what we could be doing together and you know what everything means and even things on our standard that Keldor is putting together right now there's just meaning behind things and that's how we want people to come up with their factions guilds and tribes you know there's a story behind everything and every part of this standard that we're making has a specific part of the story you can see some of that in the actual um you know in the actual storyline of the of the house of the iron ring so then we're putting together our actual charter which then we have to get approved and then you know there's a bunch of stuff that uh you know we just outline so that way when Others want to join, or if we even allow other people to join, you know, those are things that you you decide. So yeah, this is the creation of the of the. Uh, how long have how long have we been looking at this faction? Probably, uh, probably two years. Two years two we've years. been developing two and this. And a half years, yeah. So the storyline has been. I mean, if you look at the story for the faction, it's already like a book, but. We basically just took turns at you know writing how this is gonna how this is gonna work, so it's not uh, you know you could easily do it in an afternoon with a bunch of buddies if you wanted to, but this progressed with the actual system itself. So just thought we'd share a little bit of a video about how we're you know trying to come up with with the uh, the game plan of you know our actual faction, which is. We consider a house because it's only four people right now as we come out of this conference room with an idea and see if we can implement it in, in an actual game um, to start adding people to it and, and whatever. So pre-planning for this and other parts of the game are you know pretty essential for not having to worry about that stuff in the game. And remember, factions do not have to go to the overlords. Take them to your local elders for approval right yep okay so Is that us too do we have to take it to our local elders I, I guess i think we got who's our local elders right okay so hand it to steve right hand it to steve <laughs> lord keldor of godhood of the woodlands of esker <laughs> and member of the iron ring we have a god on our side who would dare oppose us what, uh, any final words? Wrap it up, Ronan. Making a faction is fun and easy. Uh, it's a lot of creative thought goes into it, however you want to do it. Um, just has to follow the guidelines, has to uh, be approved by your local elder. They'll check the guidelines to make sure that, it, that those things are being followed. And, yeah, other than that, it's great fun. You get to decide who you want in there, who you don't want in there what your goals are going to be, what your code of conduct is, how would you uh, let new members in, things along those lines. Are there initiations? Do they have to kill somebody? Do they have to help somebody? It's just a, a great way to get your, bu your buddies together that you want in, in your faction. And, yeah, just explore, imagine, and create. Gandalf Seuss. <laughs>